One way of explaining the difference between expanded and compact column addition is that with expanded column addition, we don't use carries, we add each column in turn and then add the final total. With compact column addition for more advanced students, they can progress to carrying underneath the line. So I'll show you an example of each different method using the same sum. That's 236 add on 73. So I'm going to write those numbers in place value order underneath each other. 236, 200, 3 tens, 6 units, and 73 underneath. Now I'm going to add those starting from the units. Ignoring the tens and the hundreds, 6 units and 3 units is 9 units. Now I'm going to add the tens. 3 tens and 7 tens is 10 tens. But I can't write 10 tens in the tens column. 10 tens is 100. So I write 100 underneath the 9. Now I'm just going to do the hundreds. There aren't any hundreds in 73, so there's just the 200 to write on the next line. And now I add the three parts that I've found, the 9 units, the 10 tens and the 200s. I add all those, again in place value, units first, then tens, then hundreds. If I do the same sum as a compact addition with carries, I start exactly the same, writing the two numbers underneath each other in place value order. But this time, when I've added the units, I get 6 and 3, which is 9. When I add the tens, I've got 7 and 3, which is 10. 10 tens is 100. Instead of writing that on a separate line, I'm going to put the one underneath as a carry in the hundreds column. No tens, but 100. Now I'm going to add the hundreds and I will get the same total, 309. In this way, I'm splitting it out and partitioning it, so I'm doing the tens first, uh, the units first, then the tens, then the hundreds. In this one, I'm doing exactly the same, but carrying instead of showing the hundreds separately on its own line.